All right, so the problem is that once we uh, get to the end of January, Flash will, the Flash player itself will sort of disable itself and will insert an image as to what that's going to look like. But even major browsers like Firefox and Chrome are not going to let you load Flash anymore anyways. So this workaround is pretty simple. Use a browser that doesn't take out Flash and use the oldest or the latest version of Flash without that timer. Uh, because anything past uh, the June 2020 update has included a timer that will go off on January 12th, I believe. So uh, we did the portable solution. We're doing the desktop and laptop solution. And before we begin, you know, you have permission to install the programs uh, or, or programs anything on the computer you're using. It's kind of annoying when you do it to other people, so don't do that. Um, the Pale Moon, the browser we're using, is not out of date. Uh, however, the Flash stuff is. Um, whatever security issues it has, uh, those are just not going to be patched. But you can minimize your risk uh, of bad things happening by using uh, an antivirus like Avast. So if you don't have something, you know, download that. It's free. All right. Uh, you also have to have Windows 7, 8.1 or 10. This doesn't work for Mac or Linux. So anyways, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the Pale Moon browser that is on palemoon.org. And you're going to have to use the 32-bit version. And the reason for that is if you later want to install Java, Java requires 32-bit versions. Most operating systems are 64 bits, but 32-bit is reverse compatible, so don't worry about that. Just download it, uh, and that's going to be zippy fast over here, and uh, just install it. It's going to extract, and then we can directly install it. All right, so now that the extraction is done, we can begin the installation. Uh, that's going to be pretty simple. It's just a standard installation, and that's it. All right, so now that we're finished installing, uh, we, we can launch Pill Moon. We don't have to. Uh, but what we need to do is make sure there's no conflicts. Uh, this is step number two over here. Uh, we want to remove any higher versions so that there are no conflicts. In fact, you can install the, uh, the flash we need if you have it on. But just so basically just go to remove programs. Uh, you can do it via search. Just type in remove programs or something. We're already on that, right? Right here. Uh, programs and features, apps and features. This is, uh, what do you call it? This is uh, Windows 10. So Windows 8, 7, they look similar. You can find it pretty easily. So we want to type in Flash. Now, there's nothing on this computer that's Flash, um, so that's what it is. However, if you have uh, Adobe Flash Player and Pappy, there's also a PPappy. That's not going to cause any conflicts with this. But if you have NPappy 32 and it's higher than 37.1, you need to uninstall that because you're not going to be able to install this. Uh, but we don't have that. Okay, we don't need to see that. But we don't have that, so that's not an issue. Okay, so we need to download the last version of Flash without the disabling timer. Okay, and we can do that directly very quickly. And that is nice and fast as well. And we just need to install Flash. Okay, we don't have it. We don't have a higher version. We don't have any versions. Uh, all right, so Adobe Flash Player, the installation screen is here. I've read all the terms. I mean, does anybody? Okay, all right. So install. There's going to be another screen. It's going to be about updates. All right, so the update screen is basically never check for updates because if they do install the higher updates, it's just going to make it not work. So just never check for updates, whatever. Done. All right, so now Flash, you can even see it. It's installed. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, and you can just go back to the Pale Moon installation and launch it. All right, so let's go to antcon.com. Isn't that fantastic? Let's go. So we go that. Let's play Wonder Putt. Wonder Putt is fun, isn't it? Let's do that. And you can see it's working. Now, another way that you can verify, it might get a bit loud, so we'll, we'll, we'll be able to uh, mute it very quickly. Um, but the point is, the reason you know it's working is you can right-click 
and you see Adobe Flash Player 32.0.371 right here. So you are using the version that makes Flash work. Well, it's not too loud. Until the bombardment. Oh, there we go. So that's basically it. It works. Isn't that amazing? Um, so that's basically it. Um, you know, there's going, there's a portable version. There's, uh, there's a, there's a, an instruction video on how to do Java. There will be an instruction video on how to do Shockwave. And the last thing for Flash is if you're wondering, you know, where I get all these files to download and, and you want to look into it more closely, I'll do a, a, a security conscious walkthrough as well, where we can basically look at where the original files and the flash installation files come from. But you know, if you just want to have a, a quick way of doing it, this is it. And thanks for listening.